everyone, it's Jane back with another freaking video. Guys, so this is the plan. know what today is I just know that I just got back from Orlando this morning after filming with mr. Chico sway I have been wanting to do this video since the new year started because I finished my vision board finally the new year requires planning for me and organization so I'm going to show you guys how I kind of get myself together for the new year as far as planning goes and what I get some tools that I use I'm going to break down my vision board for you guys and give you like a little sneak peek of what I have planned for this year. I've never done a video like this, but it's just something that I kind of wanted to do. I really want to try and do videos that I like and that I want, not trying to focus on like the trends and stuff like that. The vision board's really big. I originally was gonna do it on like a piece of computer paper, cardstock paper, and then I realized that my dreams are a little too big for that, so. A lot of this stuff I cut out a long time ago. Like before 2020 even started, I was making a vision board for the rest of the year and then I ended up never even finishing it. Now we have this huge board of just ideas and positivity and we love it, okay? Self-growth and manifestation. Of course, we're going to just start at the top. This is literally like I'm presenting a project. First thing, of course, it is the new year. So, had to start it off with that. I don't really know how to do this because I've never done one before, but no. Good to great. We're trying to go from good to great. We have my horoscope sign. I am an Aries. Aries babies are the best babies. And I'm really big into horoscopes. And then we have a quote up here that says, be a good role model. We need to spend less time with our devices and more time with our children. Children learn from their parents. Unless you are modeling the behavior you want them to follow you can't expect them to listen and I kind of was like using that in more of like a general term of people and my followers I want to lead a really good example for you all I was thinking that with that one I wanted to remind myself every day the purpose is a lot bigger than the followers and the numbers and the money so next thing we got is jet setters baby girl I'm trying to be catching flights not feelings and then we have my girls I want to go on more girls trips with my girls we didn't go on as many last year as we normally do I feel Feel like everyone kind of started getting big girl jobs and doing a lot of their own things so girls get ready and then I put shop right up in the upper hand corner because I love to go shopping make the wow happen so I want to make you all be like wow like she's really doing the damn thing I want everyone to just kind of be shocked with what I've accomplished what I'm doing and what you can do for yourself like I want you to really believe that you can make anything happen next quote we have says you can either let the storm come or provide resources for people to make their own way Way and empower them. I hate when people try to turn their situations into pity parties and don't want to make the best of it. I really liked that quote because it's talking about empowering people when they're feeling down rather than like throwing that pity party with them. Like it just kind of prolongs the process of grief. In reality, a positive and really good friend is going to push you to be your best and to empower them and get through the situation, whatever it is. You go girl girl power there is power in my voice i really want you guys to feel empowered when you hear me talk i want people to be able to really listen to what i have to say the badass woman issue because i'm a badass woman period we have another horoscope invest slow down long enough to notice that someone would love to assist you with a pet project find moments in the coming weeks to get still and pour into yourself develop a spiritual discipline or ritual prayer yoga and meditation all count consistent practice is key make it work dive into the hardest part of your job with a determination to come out on top next quote says i'm fearless about what i like in other words i'll take it wherever i want to go you miss every chance that you don't take being scared being nervous whatever the case may be you have no idea what the outcome is going to be unless you try it you have to be fearless you have to take risks and do things you never thought you'd do or else you're never going to grow as a person be social i am such a hermit crab when it comes to going out and doing things sometimes because i feel like i'm really picky with who i hang out with and like friends because i don't want people to use me so i'm going to be a more social try and like trust people you know hot because your girl is hot of course girls united i want to continue my journey of bringing women together and empowering women and trying to show them that you are beautiful no matter what you look like. I just want girls to unite. Women are so powerful and so strong. Star power. It was just a cute word. <laughs> Impossible is not a fact. It's an opinion. Impossible is not a declaration. It's a dare. Impossible is potential. Impossible is temporary. Impossible is nothing. Muhammad Ali. These little circles right here were just cute little fun things. It says put on a red dress or tie or shirt or shoes. 
Studies show wearing a red tone. What does that say? Studies show that wearing a ruby tone can help you feel more confident and gain a slight energy boost. Buy yourself a bouquet. Who doesn't love a beautiful bunch of begonias? Is that right? Turns out looking at flowers can help combat negativity and depression while increasing workplace productivity and creativity. Keep a fresh arrangement on your desk or in your kitchen wherever you're more likely to enjoy them. Elevate your senses. The next time you slip into bed, notice how comfortable the sheets feel on your skin. When you're drinking coffee, take a moment to savor the flavor in your mouth. Apply some scented lotion to your hands and then breathe in the smell. It only takes a moment to appreciate what's around you. So appreciating the small things, being aware of my surroundings. Content, of course, I want to really change up my content and just have a lot more fun and interactive kind of things. Shh, it's top secret. I have some top secret projects that I'm working on. Women run the world, turn your passion into purpose. I really really think I'm going to change my slogan to that. Turn your passion into purpose. What do you guys think? I already changed my name to Jane Ashley. It's not beauty and distress anymore, so. Woo -woo. We got California. I plan on going to California this year again. Women on a mission. We're all on a mission to do something. No matter how big or small the mission may seem, we're all on a mission, so why not help each other? Appreciate the little things. You don't have to survive a serious illness or win the lottery to be grateful. Take a few moments to be thankful for whatever makes your day better. Whether it's an extra hug from your child, a sunny day or steaming hot latte prepared just the way you like it. Simply appreciating what's in front of you can help you develop a stronger sense of gratitude in general. Empower. Empower is such a strong word and I just want to use it and I just want you guys to feel empowered and be empowered and empower other people. A calmer, healthier, more focused and optimistic workforce is a boon to any occupation or professional pursuit. So staying calm, staying healthy, taking care of yourself and just focusing on your goals will help you achieve them faster and less stressfully. Just woosah. If you're feeling overwhelmed, just woof saw yourself. Of course, I want to get to 300K on my channel. I'm almost at 200. And I know it's a big jump, but all of the ideas that I have this year, I'm feeling very positive that I can get to 300K. So I want to feel confident. I'm going to feel really confident in my body. Crush it because we're going to crush this year, y'all. Fully committed. I am fully committed as of January 1st to my channel and bettering myself and my career. Spice. We got to spice up our lives a little bit with this content, okay? What I create has the potential to shape the world to change the narrative to be more inclusive. Literally like our Shea slogan is so similar to that. If you don't know what a Shea is, be sure to follow us on Instagram. My best friend and I have started an online clothing business that will be launching in March and it is going to be a very, very, very inclusive brand. Saving money, I'm in the process of saving money. That's why I live at my mom's house. More than my status, I wanna be more than a YouTuber. At the end of the day, people people always ask me, Jana, what do you what do you do? Or what do you wanna do when you get older? Or what, what's your dream job? I'm, I'm doing my dream job, but I want it to be more than just a YouTuber. I want to be that person that can just do everything and anything. And next we have this little picture. I'm going to be going to the Entrepreneur Her Conference in Washington, D.C. When is that? March 13th through 15th. So you guys can actually get your tickets. I will put the link down below. It's going to be an amazing weekend in D.C. This one right here says team. I'm looking to build a team of creatives and influencers working to do the same thing with the same goals and the same dedicated and motivated mindset. So manifesting that because I'm tired of doing this shit myself. We got BeautyCon LA, August 1st and 2nd of 2020. This will be my third year going and last year was in Talent Lounge so I'm praying and hoping that I get to go again. I want to hit 100K on my Instagram and also really hoping to get verified on Instagram. Psst, I'll go pop them, go tag them, go verify me because it's just something everyone wants and to be verified would just be literally insane. I want to meet Lizzo. I love her. I went to her concert for Jingle Ball. I was so close, but I didn't meet her, so I want to actually meet her. Next thing on here is a computer. I need a new laptop. Mine's so old, so I'm saving money to get the computer. You see how it all works its way in together? This one says collaboration. It's a little bit harder to see, but it says trust, inspiration, exchange, assist, support, success, share, and teamwork. So I really want to collaborate. I have a whole list of brands and people that I want to collaborate with in 2020, and I'm gonna check them off as I go, and at the end of the year, I'm gonna kinda like go over all these goals with you guys and tell you which ones I achieved. Do a, a review, a year in review. Go to a TED Talk, my first TED Talk, and I also want to do a TED Talk. The doing a TED Talk more so next year, just cause I have never actually been to one. I'm about to take a speech class to better my public speaking. And so then we got Coachella. I'm hoping I can go 
go to that. Be sure to use my code Jaden to get $20 off of your SeatGeek purchase. If I get enough, I will be able to go to Coachella. And you get $20 off your ticket, so like, why would you not? And then I want to get a camera, like a camera camera. I have this one, but I want like a photo taking camera. So I put that on there, you know, gotta manifest the small thing, even though it's gonna be probably the most expensive thing besides my computer but last but not least is a shea a shea like i said is the online clothing brand that we are starting i want to get the page to 10,000 followers and no numbers don't matter but every influencer business owner anyone involving themselves in social media the numbers do affect something so i hope you guys enjoy my board i freaking love it this is my first year doing like an official vision board so i think that's why i was so excited to do this with you guys it's kind of personal but at the same time i want you guys to use this to motivate yourself it's not too late to make your own it's not too late to start writing down ideas so actually i'm going to show you what my ideas looked like so i literally had all of these ideas written down and I actually checked off some of these already because I made this like the end of 2019 so I wrote them all down I wrote down just like things that I wanted to achieve and things I wanted to get done and so I got a whole bunch of magazines I just started flipping through them and just cutting out stuff that I saw quotes items whatever it was and I threw it up on a board and now I just feel so much more like in touch with my vision and my goals for this year you don't have to do a vision board in order to feel like that but for me I'm very creative and hands-on I'm a list kind of girl so I make all kinds of lists all the time which I'm also gonna show you this is some mache plans front and back just just stuff and this is my January content so I have a few goals and I also have some like video ideas and some planned content already on there and like I said for me it really helps me when I'm trying to plan something and I can see it in front of me so I know okay this needs to be done this needs to be done I've done this all right you feel good about doing those things so it feels nice to check it off and then when you're going back you're like dang I did that and when it's finished you see everything just checked off and you're like you feel so accomplished some other things that I got for the new year you can't start a new year and not get a new planner so i got this little planner from walmart i don't remember how much it was but it's so cute and it's big i like it it gives you a lot of space to write extra stuff i'm not sure if i'm going to use this for school or for my content because i literally have like 10 planners gonna see how it kind of goes i also got myself this little file folder kind of to keep me organized i have school stuff in here right now so we will see what i use for everything and i will do a back to school haul i know i'm starting in january not in august when everyone else starts but you know your girl's going back to college I gotta be prepared for that. Also, I got some colorful pens. It just makes writing fun. It makes your planning fun. If you're a creative like me, like you just enjoy it looking good. You enjoy it being aesthetically pleasing. If you need a little bit of motivation to write down your goals, I'm here to tell you to do it. To pick that piece of paper up and start writing them down in your notes. I can't even explain to you guys how many notes I have on my phone of video ideas, goals, just random ideas that I get, business ideas. I will just throw them up in my notes. If anyone ever steals my phone, they're probably gonna become a millionaire. Just saying. That is going to be it for today's video. Please let me know if you enjoyed this. I enjoy doing it. I like talking about my goals, manifesting them. I'm really huge on sharing the vision with other people because then it kind of puts it into the universe. So I'm putting it into the universe, putting all of my good things and my goals and my happiness into the universe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Also, side note, if you guys see my nails right now, is that not the craziest thing you've ever seen? I got my nails done by Claudia in Orlando. She killed it. She did the damn thing. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, turn on my post notifications, head over to my Instagram. I love you and stay fabulous.